My name is Sarah Ward, and I am currently the Performing and Visual Arts Librarian at Butler University in Indianapolis. My degrees at Jacobs, I was a double master's degree seeking student where I got both the master's of arts and musicology and the master's of library science from the Luddy School of Informatics and Computing and Engineering. And I was enrolled at IU from 2017 through 2020. I will say that I get asked a lot of times, you know, what even is a music librarian? Because most people have heard of librarianship. They haven't heard of music librarianship. But Indiana has a very strong program in, mu in music librarianship. Um, so what we do is just what it sounds like, right? We handle information around music. And my current position doesn't just handle music, but it handles all of the performing arts. So that's ballet and theater, it's art and design, it's arts administration, and we would handle all the information needs. So both managing content and collection development, but then also providing information literacy instruction, making sure people know how to find things and know when they're looking at good information versus, you know, your Uncle Joe's blog. <laughs> um, that's primarily what I do. And there's a whole bunch of us across the country that do something similar and we make up a large association. And so usually in most academic circles, you'll have at least one, if not more music librarians. My background was a bit of a winding path, which I think is not uncommon, but not as common for coming into the Jacobs School of Music. Before I came into Jacobs, I actually had um, a bachelor's degree in anthropology and in religion which is not music. So what I wanted from Jacobs was exactly what I got, which was a really good deep grounding in um, all things Western art canon and uh, classically focused because I had not had that. Instead, I had had chances to study um, ritual and performance and theater and ethnomusicology and sacred music, but I had not done something that um, I think Jacobs offers really well, which is a systematic approach to the breadth and depth of all of music history, both in terms of performance and in terms of research and scholarship. What I really liked about the Jacobs School of Music was the community, because in addition to having a very strong uh, research and scholarship focus, which is always important if you're going to go, Jacobs is enormous, and it offers so many different paths that you're put into contact with a whole bunch of people in all of your classes that are studying all these very different parts of the music universe, right? So in addition to performance and conservatory work, you have people who are studying music therapy, you have people who are studying music education, you have people who are into ethnomusicology, you have people who are into um, all manner of just, I, I mean, I can't even name all the different areas of music that, you know, we cover that you can really uh, study very closely. And so as someone who was going into a career in librarianship, where I was going to have to serve a population that was quite diverse, uh, Jacobs actually offered a lot of experiences to have conversations and have peers that were across the music spectrum. And I think that that has prepared me very well for my current position as a performing arts librarian. Jacobs has a great network because it's so large, the number of people that come out of the Jacobs School of Music every year and go into the working world is just by far one of the greatest assets that I think the school provides because you have constant mentorship opportunities, you know, for, in terms of library science, we have um, on average, like three to five librarians, music librarians graduate every year from Jacobs, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you start to multiply it out across the country, you end up with quite a number of people. So when I was looking to do internships, um, one of the internships I took was at the Smithsonian. And one of the reasons that they interviewed me and wanted to talk to me is because I had ties to Indiana University. And they um, had a number of people who graduated from same programs who had gone into that kind of work. And they knew that, you know, if I was at the Archives of Traditional Music, if I was at the Jacobs School of Music, that that came with a certain level of, you know, uh, intensity and scholarship and preparation that they were willing to work with me and come up with, you know, internship opportunities. So those are things that Jacobs just brings by its nature, right, by the nature of its community and how it prepares its students that really set me up for um, a lot of success in the job market and also in my current position. So IU, 
music librarianship is an interesting situation, right? Because there are a lot of ways to do librarianship and to do music librarianship, you often are recommended to have at least two master's degrees. You wanna have the master's um, either in music or in the arts and musicology, music theory, something like that. And you also wanna have your MLS. And IU is one of three programs in the country that I'm aware of that offers the coordinated master's of library science and master's of arts. And IU offers it both um, in music theory as well as in musicology and also in ethnomusicology. So there are a lot of different ways that you can pair it together with your background if you're coming up in Jacobs right now as a performance undergrad, you can pair that, you could pair it with a master's of music, but you could also very easily pair it with musicology or music theory. And um, it's a pretty fantastic opportunity to keep music centered in your life while also having a very stable career. Um, the two fit together really well because music is often a, night, a nighttime job and library science is a daytime job. So as a career path, it's very appealing. It was to me. <laughs> I had spent a lot of time before I came into Jacobs uh, in a performance career with the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra Chorus and Chamber Chorus and a number of other choirs around Atlanta, which is where I came before I moved to Indiana. And, you know, Jacobs let me center myself in music in a way that I couldn't do when I was working full time and then also performing. But now that I'm out on the other side, it's allowed me to continue centering music in my life, both in my pursuits as a music librarian, but then also in um, in performance. You know, I still am actively engaged in singing and I can sing both of my you know academic institution. I'm helping to prepare Verdi's Requiem uh, this semester with the Butler University Chorus and Orchestra, but then also professionally. And I'm a staff singer at a local church and I do a number of uh, singing gigs around town. So I really liked the, the balance of it. And you can do that by, if you're currently in a master's program, you can simply add on a master's of library science at the end of it to learn how to be a librarian. Um, I also recommend always 100% working in libraries. And of course, Jacobs makes that very easy because the Cook Music Library has an awful lot of opportunities for students to work at circulation, to work in cataloging and technical services. And Indiana University has several archives, not just the archives of traditional music, but the Lilly um, Special Collections and Archives Library, as well as um, the Triple AMC, which is the Archives of African American Music and Culture, all of which offer phenomenal opportunities to students to uh, learn how the work of archives and librarianship actually works in the real world, how you can um, almost apprentice, you know, while doing these positions and learn practical applications and skills while getting your degree. And I did hear from a number of my peers when I was at Jacobs that they had never heard of music librarianship before they got to Jacobs. Um, I think it's something that honestly music librarians can bring to the table at the Jacobs School of Music that other music schools don't have, which is that by having um, peers, students who are actively learning librarianship, you end up with people in your classes who are really broadening your own experiences with, I think, scholarship and research. And when we say that we turn out, you know, scholar musicians, we, we really mean it. And this is one way that we do it is we have people who are literally learning the work of scholarship and information management who are embedded in classes with students who are, you know, in the orchestra and students who are performing solo careers and students in music education. So it's nice. So, um, I would say my opinion from what I've seen in job postings and music librarianship is that a lot of music librarianship jobs are starting to become a bit more general. So rather than just music, you might be doing uh, music and dance or music and dance and theater, or in my case, it's performing and visual arts. So I do um, music, dance, theater, and then also art and design arts administration. So um, I think that, you know, the ability to learn as much as possible when you're at an institution like Jacobs is something that you should take advantage of. So when you have all these different people who are in your path that you really do befriend them, learn how they do their craft, right? Um, learn how they, uh, what their needs are, right? Um, it's something that I couldn't have gotten if I was in a smaller school, I think that wasn't quite as deep 
as the Jacob School of Music is. And I would say that in the coming years, uh, you know, we do have, I think we've been in a series of waves of retirements where people have been uh, moving out of the field. There's been a generational shift. And so as that's been happening, a lot of jobs have been opening up. Um, we didn't see that during the pandemic, which is right when I graduated. But within a year after I graduated, the number of jobs had like tripled and quadrupled from what they were posting during the pandemic. Um, so, you know, librarians with good training and a passion for the work and a love of music are always in need and supply, hopefully from Jacobs. But um, yeah, I would say that the career is one that's either maintaining or growing in terms of the jobs that are opening. So it's a really good um, alternative path to just performance. And I don't mean just performance, but if you have been spending your life thinking that it's all going to be performance, and then you find yourself either with repetitive stress injuries, needing to retool, needing to reshape or step back, if it's not something that, you know, after you've gone all the way through your bachelor's degree, you think you want to do with the rest of your life, then I would say that music librarianship is a really good alternative path. I love the Jacobs School of Music. I loved Indiana University and my time there. I'm really glad I got to stay in Indiana. That was not something that I expected because again, music librarianship is a career as much of musicianship is. It's dependent on where the jobs are. So I was just really lucky that I had a job open up and it, it was still in Indiana. Um, yeah, thanks for having me.